Welcome to part two of this series. In this video, we proceed to the next essential reloading step to sort, inspect, and clean our brass. To begin with, let's now assume that we have some once fired brass. The sooner we cull out and throw away bad or wrong caliber cartridges from our supply, the more time and money we will save. If you have picked up brass from the range, or if you've bought once fired brass, it is likely that there will be cartridge cases in your bucket like these. The sooner you can identify and throw away steel and aluminum cases, the more time and money you will save. Reloading these cases is possible, but exceedingly difficult and requires really specialized and expensive equipment. Next, if you're reloading 45 cals, you should know that some of them are made with small primers. The difference is subtle, but important. Your decapping pin will likely push out that old small primer, but then during the next step, when you're trying to seat a big primer into that small hole, there will be trouble, especially if you are hurrying a bit. You will also find that smaller caliber cases get stuck in bigger ones. If we let nested cartridges like these get mingled into our batch, we will significantly slow down our workflow. And then again, some cartridges are just too damaged to reuse. For example, I missed this split case on my initial inspection, so I wasted my time, my components, my energy, and my money. And fortunately though, I found it before I went to the range. No matter our ultimate goal, step one is to ensure that we have only the correct cases and that those cases are of good quality. Having completed our inspection, our next step is to clean the empty cases. There are four basic ways that we can accomplish this goal. The commonest technique is to vibrate the cartridge cases in dry corn cob medium. Corn cob is cheap and easy and effective. One to four hours vibrating in the corn cob gives you a nicely cleaned and polished case. Or we could use a rotary tumbler, soap, and water. I bought this system on the internet from someone who had used it to polish rocks. Simply pour in an ounce of dishwasher detergent, a handful of BBs, fill the tumbler with water, the rotation with the solvent, and the BBs will give you a nicely cleaned and polished case. Ultrasonic cleaners are effective, but somewhat expensive. I bought this one used on the internet from a laboratory supply house. Using an ultrasonic cleaner requires adding an ounce of liquid case cleaner to the water. Fortunately, the solution is inexpensive and reusable, and you can easily get it from Brownells or Midway, but make sure the solvent is specifically case cleaner and not their general cleaner. If you use either of the last two systems and you don't dry your cases correctly, you will leave unsightly water spotting on those cases. Simply rolling the cases around in a bag with a few paper towels will remove the surface water. Then you can dry your cases in a warm oven overnight. And the fourth cleaning method is to use an organic solvent. Most reloaders who like this technique use the cheapest gasoline as their solvent. They use multiple small volume rinses, drain the gasoline from the cartridge cases each time, then carefully dry the cases outdoors to avoid explosive fumes in the house. The problem is, after a few rinses, you end up with this filthy gasoline. It is tempting to pour it down the drain, but that's a really bad idea. Hydrocarbons are difficult to remove from any municipal water supply. Also, I cannot recommend gasoline for another reason. Organic solvents are exceedingly dangerous because of the flammability of the vapors. So, having used one of those techniques, we end up with clean, sorted cases and are almost ready to proceed through the eight reloading steps. If you make comments or ask questions below and sign your real name, I'll do my best to answer them. If you like the video, if you found it valuable, give it a thumbs up, please. If not, tell me how I can improve it, and I'll do my best to do so.